Recently, Databricks showed beautiful entity relationship diagram. Uh, to have such a diagram, you need to have primary and foreign keys, and that diagram show relations in your data. And there are several benefits of defining your primary and foreign keys in data lake. Of course, here you need to remember that it's data lake, so that keys are used for data modeling and information purposes, not for data integrity. So they are not enforced. So they are just like for information purposes and in some special places like this diagram uh, are showing relations in your data. Okay, so let's define these keys and show what and see what are the benefits. So we have uh, two tables. One is products, the, the other is transactions. In product table, as you see, we have product ID and product name. No, so in that case, uh, product ID is natural candidate for our primary key. And another table is transaction. So in transaction, we have again ID and also we have reference to product ID. So in that case, product ID is our foreign key. And currently there is no keys defined. So let's go to SQL editor and define that keys. So to define a key for product table, we use alter table syntax with add constraint. So run the, select, the selected uh, query. Okay, it's run. So let's refresh our product table and we see that here now we have primary key defined. Okay, so we will do the same for transaction uh, table, but he will, here we will also define foreign key. So the syntax is the same at constant, just we say foreign key and set that relation. So references, so it's reference to product table and to product ID. So that's now run this uh, creation of primary and foreign key. Okay, it's done. So let's go to transaction table. Let's refresh that. Okay, and we see here primary and foreign key. And also we see this view relationship diagram. One nice feature is that if you click foreign key, you will be redirected to in catalog to table where you have primary key to which the foreign key is referencing. And here we have this uh, now view relationship uh, button. And when we click that, we see that diagram with relations for our data. So the first benefit for me is documentation, because now you have ready chart with relationships in your data. And instead of creating some confluence pages, you have just this documentation of your data in Unity catalog. So it's another uh, benefit after lineage to document your data. And one really nice feature is integration with Power BI. If we now open that schema in Power BI, we will download connection file and we will click it. Uh, we will see our tables from our schema. So we see our product table, our transaction table, and let's load that two tables. And Power BI should automatically uh, detect relations in our data based on information from, uh, from foreign and primary keys. So let's check it. And when we click model view, we can see that our relation, our foreign key for product ID was automatically detected. So it's a really, really nice feature, which simplify whole integration with Power BI. Another useful feature is that when you define primary and foreign key, AI can learn about your data 
and know this relation, especially that sometimes the relations are not so easy to detect because, the, for example, the column names can be different. But let's test it, test it in that use case, how, how it will handle it. So we will create new query, we'll open assistant and let's use natural language and let's use natural language uh, to, to query our transactions and product table. So we ask, ask assistant for create query to get transaction and join with products. And we can see that it correctly detected the relation based on product ID. And we can test that query. So we see we have transaction uh, table and it's joined with product table. So it's working really nice. Actually, I was really surprised that it's, it's already working because I thought that it will be more like in future. But you can already use natural language to consume your relationship definition. Uh, another place where primary keys are, it's even not useful, they are obligatory, is feature store. Because in feature store, only, only tables which have primary key are considered to be feature tables. Uh, why is that? Uh, basically, when you use features, you use feature lookups. So for example, when you train your model, uh, you use product ID, but you want to track which product ID this model is using. And in some industries, it's even obligatory to show uh, what, what was used to train your model to have that lineage. And in some cases, like private uh, identification data, uh, it's, you can have even big penalty if you are not tracking, because you need to be able to show to regulator that you use, for example, that customer's data to train that model. So in that case, you need to use primary key because that primary key will be included in model tracking. So basically in that example, you, you see how feature table is generated. So you, uh, you put our primary key as, as a lookup key for your model. Uh, another place where primary keys are, are used are online tables. What are online tables? Ba basically, uh, standard table in are like are processed by Spark and they are in columnar format, so they are really fast to get a lot of data to make joins. But sometimes you have these use cases that you need to get only single record. For example, in inference uh, for data uh, data models and for all, for LLM. So in that case, to query that data, you need also primary key because you need to get that one record. And basically, when you go here and click create online table, you need to define primary key. Uh, because then when you will query online table, you will use that key to get the rows and it will enable you to get these rows in, millise in milliseconds. And last but not least is core enterprise data governance. Because you cannot, you cannot make mess in your data. You need to create all tables with create table syntax. You need to manage access to that tables. And definition of primary and foreign keys is like big part of this, of this process. Let's start defining primary and foreign keys for your data and make beautiful entity relationship diagrams.
Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.